I'm not playing tricks on anyone. No trick. Oh, don't shoot my dog. What an asshole. I'll show you a neat trick. Anyone ever made your face disappear before? No? Alright. Well, let's try it out. Let's see. Hey, there we go. Nice and disap- Oh, shit, he had a friend. Nice and disappeared. Look at that. Head's completely gone. Perfect. That's what he gets. Did I get a level up there? I think I got a level up there. I need to upgrade my science. Apparently, I already have rank 2. Now I have rank 3. I knew I had at least rank 1. I didn't know if I had rank 2 or not. But apparently, I did. So that's even better. That is even better. Now I just got to get one more rank and then I can probably upgrade most of my energy weapons completely. I'm not sure if there's another category I need to upgrade or not, but sweet. Should be good to go. I don't I keep leaving stuff there. See, General Brock's terminal, Fort Strong's key, there's a safe in here, wasn't really anything too crazy. Nice. Permanently more difficult to detect when sneaking, that's great because I never do it, so, kind of not useful for me, but, alright, random reports, blah blah blah, General Brock, blah blah blah. He's brocking it up. Of course, great. Yep. Bravo team. Yep. All right. Thank you, General Brock. Am I done in here? Secure Fort Strong Armory? No, we are not done. I got to find the armory. Wherever the armory is at, I got to find it and secure it. Who knows where it's at? I have no idea where this armory is at, but... <laughs> I'll find it one day. I'll find it one day. What is this? Communism is coming! Oh, no. They're going to invade us. The walls have eyes. Communists are watching. I should probably take this elevator, right? This elevator might do it. Alright, I need you guys to be very vigilant for any communists around here. I'm gonna have to report them to the government. So the government can take care of it for us. Alright, dog me. I'm going to report you to the government in about three seconds. I'm going to say you bit me and they're going to take you away and put you down. Is that what you want, dog meat? That's what dog meat's going to get. If he keeps standing in the way. Like, for the love of God, someone needs to make a dog meat mod where he just is not in your way. Purified water, and then there's like a bunch of purified water there. What the hell? It's pretty funny. Dirty water. Oh, how come it doesn't say dirty water here? That'd be pretty funny. Did this elevator even take me anywhere new? I think so. I think it did. It had to have, right? It had to have. Where else would it have taken me to? Disney World? I don't think so. Oh, what an asshole. Let's see, Bravo Team Testing Terminal. Oh, man. Things are getting rough around here. Talking about Brock again. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Lost two soldiers. It's been bed last night. Took the better part of a year. Awesome. I wish I could, like, speed read stuff. I 
I would actually say that I'm probably a slower reader than most. At least when it comes to not reading aloud. I would say reading aloud, most of us are probably at the same speed because, you know, you have to say words and stuff. And if you talk too fast, it just doesn't make sense. So I'd say most people probably have to read aloud at the same pace because, it, in general, it just needs to sound correct. You can't just be talking really fast like this all the time just for the sake of, you know. It sounds really stupid, right? It sounds fucking stupid as hell. What if I just tried to talk as fast as I could all the time? That'd make for really good commentary, wouldn't it? It'd be terrible. It would be absolutely terrible. So... I mean, I'd say when, when you're just regularly talking or reading out loud, then... Uh, we, we probably read at the same pace, just because, you know, by default... By default, you want it to make sense, but in your own mind, you can you can think a little bit faster, right? It's a little bit different when you're reading quietly. But I would say that, at least while reading quietly... Oh, shit, look at this stuff. Like, components for a mini-nuke. I would say when, when reading just on my own quietly, I probably read slower than most people. Anytime I'm watching something on YouTube and there's, like, a bunch of words that pop up, like, I don't know, like a paragraph of words, it always disappears way too quick. I can only imagine I'm a little bit slower at reading when it comes to just, you know, reading quietly. I'm not sure why, but that's just how I am. That's how I was made. Is this the armory? What am I doing in here? Can I, like, parkour up this shit? Come on, let me parkour. Come on, let me fucking parkour up this, damn it. It looks like you could climb up it, too. Like, it really looks like you could climb up this. And you could just, like, jump up there, but... I don't think it's gonna be working like that. Great. Maybe there's another way to get to where I need to go. If that's the only way, then I have no idea. Oh no, it leads me right here, so this is not very useful anyway. Alright, this pretty much leads me back to where I was. Who the hell is it? There's people in here. Sounds like there's actual, just like, regular people talking over here. Oh, is this Dance? Who is this? Oh, it's Dance. Look at this place. You must hate these mutants as much as I do. Why do you hate super mutants so much? Hate's too gentle a word. These monstrosities are just another example of man blindly taking a step forward, only to wind up stumbling two steps back. I've been fighting for years, trying to put a stop to this madness. And just when I thought we were getting the upper hand, along come the synths. I've seen what these super mutants do to people. Can you imagine what the synths would do to us if they ever got the upper hand? It would be Armageddon repeated, and maybe the end of everything that we hold dear. <sighs> Look, I don't mean to bore you with my rhetoric. I just want you to understand how important these missions are. Don't apologize. It reminds me why I'm doing this. Thank you, brother. It's good to know you're taking my advice to heart. Anyway. That's enough of that. What's important here is that you got the job done and secured these warheads. You should head back up to the Pridwin and talk to Maxon. I'm sure he'll want to debrief you as soon as possible. Dismissed. Alright, so I guess I already secured it. We're already good to go. See you later, Dance. Oh, Dance is apparently coming with us. He, dis he used the elevator and disappeared. But I guess that's all it took. I was expecting, like, a much bigger armory, but... I guess, you know, I shouldn't be surprised. There was, like, a bunch of mini-nuke components in there, and I'm pretty sure they were talking about securing mini-nukes or the mini-nuke components, so... You know, whatever. We're good to go here, so... I just gotta, fi I gotta find my way out of this building now. I'm walking around, getting stuck in dead ends.
I can probably just fast travel to where I gotta go. Or there's gonna be a vertebrate waiting for me. Well, maybe not. Let's see. Speak to Elder Max, and yeah, I can probably just fast travel back to the good old battle blimp over there. I'll talk to him real quick and then probably wrap things up. Sadly, for those of you who are keeping up with Fallout, videos for it make it a little bit inconsistent, as they already kind of have been recently, but as, uh, as new games are coming out, Fallout is just... Fallout is just taking super long to beat. I didn't know it was going to be this long. Also, it didn't... Well, I didn't really take into account that I would be doing all the DLC. I don't know why I didn't. But I guess taking into account all the DLCs and stuff, I should have figured that it was going to be a longer playthrough. But I'll get into more of that in a second. Outstanding work at Fort Strong, soldier. It was an honor fighting for the Brotherhood. I'm glad you feel that way. Because our mission here has only just begun. In order to bring the Institute to its knees, we need to use every weapon at our disposal. I try to supply my soldiers with the best. That's why I'm giving you these. Signal grenades can call a vertebrate to your location when you need aerial transport. Simply throw one to the ground, and the vertebrate will hone in on the unique electromagnetic smoke it emits. Once you're aboard, use the map on your pit boy to interface with the pilot's navigation system, so he'll be able to take you wherever you need. Where can I get more signal grenades? I'd use the supply I gave you sparingly. These devices are far more complex than a standard smoke grenade. Should you need more, you should acquire them from Proctor Teagan. All right, well, hopefully I remember that. Although I probably won't even be using them. I don't know how often I'll be using them. I haven't used the artillery grenades once. I just don't... I really don't see the point in using them when I'm, you know, really not having a hard time doing whatever. So... Eh. I don't know if I'll ever use Thank them. Thank you, Elder. I'll make good use of them. I expect that you will. Now, I'm sure you're aware that Fort Strong was simply the first step towards the liberation of the Commonwealth. An even greater task lies ahead. By now... I'm sure you've deduced that our arrival in the Commonwealth wasn't coincidental. We're here because of a unique energy reading recorded by Paladin Dance's recon team. According to our scribes, the reading indicated a level of technology that only the Institute could achieve. The moment this information came to light, our mission became clear. The Institute, and everyone responsible for the creation of the synths, must be eliminated at all costs. To accomplish this goal, we need to locate the Institute's headquarters. I've had our scribes meticulously searching the Commonwealth, but they've come up empty-handed. Anything you need, Elder, you just say the word. I want you to get out there and become our eyes and ears on the ground. You seem to have a vested interest in locating the Institute before we met, so I'm confident you'll travel in the right circles. If you discover a way in, I need you to report it to me immediately. Any questions, Knight? Not right now, Elder. Very well, then. Dismissed. Proximity sensors green. Getting a three second ping back. Alright, well. I didn't know if there was more dialogue there or not. So we got some new quests. Maybe we don't have new quests. Alright, well, maybe maybe we don't have new quests. Getting a bit of a twitch on Sir. Three. Questions, Questions night? Let's see. Let me ask him some questions first. I'd pursue your lead regarding Dr. Amari. I'm not certain if she's a crackpot or if she can genuinely assist your search. But our sources say she has some interesting technology at her disposal. Anything else tonight? Alright, so it seems like I'm just getting pointed to the one que the other main quest that I Are have. Are there any pre-war records about the Institute that might help us? Our records indicate that the Institute was born from the remnants of a pre-war educational facility. The Commonwealth Institute of Technology. The ruins of the facility are at the center of the city, but we've already searched them thoroughly. The location appears to have been abandoned long ago, so it appears that the trail ends there. Anything else, Knight? Not right now. All right, Very now. well, then. All right, so it does seem like we're done with the Brotherhood just for now. He told me to pursue that lead with Dr. Amari, and that's what we have, you know, dangerous minds for. So, when we come back next time, 
I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to be doing any of these. The miscellaneous stuff always seems kind of mad. So I'll either start off with probably either this, maybe something in miscellaneous. Maybe. I'm not saying that I'm never going to do anything else in miscellaneous again. But these two probably definitely never because those are two Nuka World things. So I might check out some of these and see what's going on. Maybe, maybe not. I'm kind of leaning probably not, but... Uh, I'll pr I might start off with this, just to get this side quest out of the way, as long as it tells me somewhere to go on the map. Yeah, it does. It tells me to go over here. So there's probably like a building over here, some sort of museum, or I don't know what would be over here. I'm sure I'll run into that whenever I decide to check it out. And then we also have Dangerous Mines, so I'm probably going to start off with this next time, and then depending on where this leads us, I'll probably go back to Dangerous Mines and start doing some more main stuff. So, got a lot done today. Finally back on back on the main quest track. Uh, it's actually pretty nice to be doing stuff that actually involves the main story. So that's pretty neat. But we're going to have to do that next time. Hope you enjoyed the videos. I'll see you guys then.